This is a project from the Christmas Fabazine, and this is the cutlery holder, so this one's a, a really nice, cute one. And in your Christmas Fabazine, I've chosen the uh, modern version. There's a modern version and a traditional version. You can choose from either, but we'll start putting it together and show you how it works. So you get three pieces of fabric for each cutlery holder, and you'll get six in your set. So your first job is to take the largest of the three pieces for the cutlery holder and fold that in half, and then, um, you get two other pieces. Now this will be the back and the front of your cutlery holder. So to assemble it, I've got a little piece of uh, wadding that I've cut. Now before I've started with these, I apologise for the noise. Um, there's a baby duck here. It's a long story. Check his Instagram. Um, so I've just folded a quarter inch hem on each of the top of both of these because um, we're going to need that later when we're top stitch, but it's easier to fold it in before we start. So. We're going to start to, to layer this up. So there is the back. That's the front, but that's the front of the cutlery holder. It's, it's this piece here. I'll put this one beside so you can see it as we build it. So that's this piece. Then we need our pocket, and that's going to go face up as well. That's going to create that part. And then lastly, we need the back of it, and that's going to go on top, but it's going to go face down. So what you're going to need to do is before you start, I've cut my uh, batting a little bit bigger. So I'm just gonna slide that up. You can see, so the batting just fits in to that little flap that I've put on there. And then we're gonna pin this together and we're gonna sew three sides. So we're gonna sew down, round the bottom, back up the other side. Um, and when you do sew the sides, if you flatten those out, obviously you've got your nice creases in there and you'll need those in a second. But if you flatten those out when you sew, it'll all come clear in the next step. So I'll go ahead, jump on the sewing machine, sew those round, and then I'll be straight back with you. So I'm finished on the sewing machine. I've done all three sides. Now I've got a little bit of excess batting on the bottom here, which I'm gonna trim away. And I'm also going to trim the corners as well. So we get nice sharp points on those. So it's there, and then I'm gonna do two snips, one across that way, and one down the other, just to really reduce the bulk in those corners. Sorry, that is the duck. Uh, nothing I can do about it. If I leave her in the kitchen, she's just gonna screech the place down. So it's kinder to bring her in here with me. So that's done. Now to turn it right side out, you can pop your hand in, just push those corners in, and then you can grab a hold of them. And then you'll be able to just pull that through There we go. Now don't worry if initially you turn it right side out and your character's gone. You haven't sewn it the wrong way around. All you've done is, is flipped it out that way, put the right way up, flipped it out that way as opposed to that way. So don't worry, you just turn it, turn the pocket through the other way and you'll be absolutely fine. So um, now that's all turned out, I did have a little crochet hook here. I've got a pence, uh, paintbrush, which will do exactly the same thing. So I'm just using the end of that just to posh out those corners and make them nice and sharp. And there's the second one. There we go. And then uh, we're going to just, to finish it off, it needs a good press. And then we are going to top stitch this top edge. So we pressed these earlier so that they are nice and straight. So we're just going to tuck the, all of those back in back under themselves, all the way around. And it is worth pressing these before you sew them because then you're not having to, to juggle quite so much with um, pins and things. So I would press that nice and flat. And then once I've been to the ironing board, I'll pop a few pins in here and then top stitch all of the way around. And that will be your project complete. So you actually get six in the modern Christmas set, which this is from. You get six in the traditional one as well, but the six in the traditional are three of one colour and three of another. It's a lovely poinsettia design. So that is your um, cutlery holder from your Christmas fabazine. So um, I hope that helped.